Welcome to the next discussion about our state of affairs. It seems as though things continue to be somewhat strange for our community. Anity is still in that particular hospital ward or something where they deal with, I mean, I mean I'm just going to say the word mental patients. I think they think she's batshit crazy, to be quite frank. I don't think she's batshit crazy. I think she can be kind of annoying. I think she can sometimes be kind of a bitch. But I don't think she's batshit crazy. Well, maybe not completely. <laughs> but anyways, like with that in mind, she's in this hospital or something. Not really a hospital. It sounds more like a prison. And she tells these stories particularly, not really in my server, in the other server. So again, I'll tell the story. If it was in my server, I'd be like discreet about it. But since it's not, fuck it. I'll just talk about it, huh? And so anyways, with that in mind, um, she went like in this hospital or whatever, this mental hospital. I'll just say it. Um, she has this roommate who talked about demons and shit. And so she actually ended up bonding with her and they ended up going to church together, which was kind of interesting. It's actually kind of wholesome, surprisingly. And then she posts this Instagram story talking about how she wants to die. I think she was being like, um, not necessarily, she was kind of joking, but not really the best thing to post like when you've been put into a mental ward because your therapist thinks that you're going to kill yourself. <sighs> I hope she was joking, you know? Because I do need some, I need her active in the server, quite honestly speaking. I don't want her to jump off a bridge. <laughs> I'm joking. I do care about her for other reasons too. She's also pretty. Anyways, I need to compose myself. My point is that like, um, there's also some other things that have been happening in their community. Mira recently left the server. I wonder why. My God, what happened? I mean, we actually know exactly why. Um, Pia has access to the private Senate channel. And so that's really the channel where I talk shit about everyone. And so with that in, in mind, the, of, of course, understanding is that as a Senate member, it's your responsibility as a member of the Judah Senate to collectively talk shit about everyone with me. You don't like tell everyone else, you know, who I've been talking shit about. And so anyways, with this in mind, someone else posts this photo of Mira with her boyfriend or something. And so um, this person starts like being mean and shit and starts like, you know, I guess shit posting and stuff. And I remember Pia had said to Mira, oh, Jupiter has been like saying some rude things about you and your boyfriend. And I was like, what the fuck? Because I remember there's a voice chat meeting with Mira and she, had, she said, you know, I heard that you've been saying some thing. And I was like, what the... And so I gave her access to the Senate channel. And of course, she saw everything in the Senate channel. She saw, oh my God, I think Mira looks cute as fuck in that dress. Oh my God, she looks cute today, blah, 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 blah. Seeing the things of me saying that. And so she's like, at first, she's thinking that she's going to see me talking some major shit. But then she sees me freaking like flirting and shit and talking all of this like good stuff about Mira and stuff. And so, of course, she's like, she changes her mind. She's like, oh, I was expecting to see some shit talk. But again, I think she had set her mind in, like her mind was already melded to kind of dislike me from the whole Pia situation. Ironically, though, she began to realize that I was more akin to her than she had assumed. You know, I'm such a nice person, aren't I? And so anyways, with that in mind, Mira eventually we got into a discussion and stuff like that, but she acted kind of strange after the whole situation. Although I had proven that I wasn't the one talking shit, it was actually someone else, um, she still kind of had a different vibe, you know? And the interesting thing was as well, when I talked to Mira, she said it was someone else. She said it was this other person. I don't know what this, he keeps changing his username. And I kind of want to say the username which he has, but because he's kind of like a 4chan sort of person, I feel like if I say it, it might actually be an offensive word. I haven't Googled the word, so it might be one. But case in point, uh, he was a, a senator of the Jupiter server for quite a while and is a very long-term member or whatever. Oh, I forgot to throw this part in. Now, this photo was posted to Pia's server, and so anyways, because this senator was also a part of Pia's server, I guess he had gotten it and posted it into the Senate channel, and because Pia has this access to the Senate channel because she's a Jupiter senator, well, it seems like she, she abused her Senate power to tell Mira, oh, your picture has been leaked, oh, as though it's been leaked. Like, she posted it publicly in another server, and she acts like it's so, it's like this shocking leak because, like, what, like, five people in the Jupiter Senate can see it? Like, give me a fucking break. But anyways, with that in mind, it's like a big controversy or something like that. Again, it's another controversy that has to do with me, like I did anything in regards to this. It's like the whole Courtney drama where Courtney went crazy. She was like, oh, Jupiter, you're doxing me. When it wasn't even me who posted her Facebook, it was someone else who posted, is this your Facebook? And then I eventually deleted it when I saw it. But then she starts freaking out in Daniel's server going on about, oh, Jupiter, you did this. Oh, he's so terrible. Oh, my God. Give me a fucking break. 
But anyways, with that in mind, so Mira is pissed off at me. Oh my god, how terrible. I mean, I tried to play it nicely. I mean, it, it just, quite honestly speaking, like, was after that whole incident, like, after she had confronted me in VC, and after, like, Pia had told her, oh, you know, there's all this shit talk. I don't know what Pia's deal is. I think Pia was jealous, honestly. Pia probably saw me, like, saying, oh, Mira looks so cute in that dress. And she was just like, what? Well, actually, I looked, I posted an Instagram the other day, and, like, I, I thought it looked great. I looked great in that picture. Like, you did look great in that picture, Pia, but, like, sometimes it's not all about you, darling, all right? I'm sorry I didn't compose myself, but, like, let's just be real here. Like, it's not always about you. Sometimes I can talk about other people, too, you know? Anyways, with that in mind, um, uh, I think it was interesting how, also with this in mind, I'm also hearing the Daniel server is slowly dying. Oh, interesting. It's interesting that when, like, I get banned and, like, all of the people involved in my community start slowly to leave because they're no longer as interested in his server, that his server begins to die off. The interesting thing as well is, like, you would expect Daniel's channel to be doing better because, like, he has this whole Japan arc, you know? Like, this is what everyone's been begging for for years, and it's not really reviving the channel. Like, it's somewhat reviving the channel. You have a lot of old subscribers kind of reminiscing, but they're reminiscing, you know? I was telling Daniel that he needs to create a new arc. He needs to have new girlfriends, new relationships, new life, etc. A lot of people are obsessed with Japan. That's fine. But he needs to do that in Japan. He can't just go to Japan and keep talking about his ex-wife. Like, that's kind of ridiculous, you know? Although, to be fair, he is doing other things, but I don't really like how he did Japan. He didn't really do it in the sense where there was hype. He just did it, and he just did it. Like, he would stream everything, and it's like, well, how can... Like, how am I going to pay attention to it? In fact, in addition to this, like, how would you expect to get, like, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of views like you did before, if you're going to be posting, like, 20-hour streams? And then, like, you really have two ways in which you can do it. You could be posting, like, all of the streams and just archive your entire experience, which is more of, like, I guess, an artistic way to view things. Or you could do it like from a YouTuber perspective where you just post the highlights like this is when I arrived, all that sort of stuff. Oh, this happened, oh, this happened, or something like that. And then you just have like have a general archive or something. But you don't like, in his case, he actually like recorded these streams. He didn't save the stream. So like when he first arrived in Japan, there's like no actual video of it saved anywhere unless you screen recorded it, which I would have done if I really like knew when it was happening, but I didn't. And so I didn't have the time, the time to do that. And so anyways, like, he didn't save the old streams, and so now it's just like kind of a clusterfuck. You just have like a, a couple of streams that are saved, and then you have some videos as well in between that are kind of like more funny, meme-worthy. And so it's kind of a little bit of a mess in my personal opinion. He needs to like really get his act together in regards to this Japan arc. He needs to also, in addition to this, date a new girl. I'm sorry, this is my channel, not his channel. What am I talking about? Why am I engaging so much with his content? I mean, really, my point here is like, I think he needs to get to the point where he's getting, he, he has new things happening. Like, the thing about 2017 Daniel was you watched him and he didn't seem, he seemed like he was just a crazy character who was just doing all sorts of crazy things. And it seems like he's lost that energy. It's not really all of his fault. It's actually the fault of, I think, some trolls. You have McLovin, maybe to some, some extent you have people like GS9 who were sending, I think McLovin was sending sex toys and stuff to his house and shit. And, like, these people, like, made his life so annoying that he no he never wanted to share anything about his life. And so now, like, what do we have? Like, what do we get to watch? We don't get to watch him, like, walking out of his apartment, you know, feeding some cats, doing something, like, wholesome or something like that. Now he has to blur every place at which he goes to. He has to, like, be so careful. In Thailand, you have to do this. At least in Japan, though, he is somewhat treating it like a, a vlog. I'm sorry. I think we've already kind of spoke a little bit enough about that topic. And now, otherwise, um, Rocker has come back from his Japan trip. He had a wonderful time. I'm glad. We've had lots of wonderful VCs, and I enjoyed myself quite a bit. We've had so many laughs. Um, the community really, in a sense, has kind of reached its maturity point in a sense where we really are having regular VCs and regular discussions every single day. But I, I'm not happy with that. I want more. I think we need to scale things even more. The concern here is I want to build up the community even more to the point where we have people like from outside of the general, you know, HIMR ecosystem. I tried to do this with Decline and I failed hard. The Decline ecosystem was hard. The people in his server were very negative and harsh, you know, to the point where like I got so annoyed by how, I guess, blackpilled they were that I just eventually just left. I, I eventually just insulted them all and left the server. It's not really worth it. I checked Decline's channel to see what kind of videos at which he was releasing, and I didn't really see any videos that really interested me. It's all about the gym arc. 
I think, you know, much like how Daniel made the mistake a couple of years ago of doing that, what I like to call the purgatory arc, where he moved into that building in Manchester, where he was just living in this white building. And it was like silly. It was like 2019. It was actually interesting because I kind of lived life like that as well in 2018, 2019. I just like watched old movies. I went to a couple concerts by myself and I just kind of lived life like you know just like really just like alone and i enjoyed it it was kind of fun but like daniel he did that as well he would go on dates he would do this do that but he didn't really do that much and so it was just kind of weird you know it didn't really feel like daniel it felt like you know like like a an epi- a spin-off episode where daniel was like doing a different show you know with different characters and shit in a different city and stuff and that's really what it was and so slowly he lost i'm sorry not slowly he quickly lost a lot of his old subscribers and they stopped watching a lot of the people who i've spoken to in this community lost interest in his content at that particular point and so I feel like Decline is making the same mistake with the gym arc. The reason why a lot of people watch Decline, and let's just be real direct, there are two kinds of people who watch Decline. There are the people who watch Decline because they want to feel better about themselves, because they want to see someone who's doing like harshly, because they'll do these videos, oh, I'm 25, what have I done with my life, or something like that. Um, and there are people who watch his videos because they want a sense of kinship, like other people who are incels who want someone to kind of relate to. With the gym arc, it seems kind of cumbersome. Like, it doesn't seem like... Uh, he doesn't really seem, I, I, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like he, he's doing like a multitude approach. Like the reason why you would do a gym arc is that you would do it with multiple different things. You're making money at a job, you're building up your savings, building up your investments, working at the gym, going on dates and stuff like that. But the problem with Decline is he's only doing the gym, you know? It's only a one-tiered approach. And he he's even talking about like in some of his videos, oh, if I don't get a girlfriend, well, after this gym arc, it's over for me. What the fuck are you talking about? Do you think that you could just walk down the street and have a bunch of muscles and just go like, get Madison beer or something like that? Like, I feel like he's completely missing the fact that it's like, um, you know, that a lot of people want nice things. You know, muscles are nice, but if you have lots of money, you actually have the freedom to, you know, bring Mrs. Madison beer on to a nice date or some shit like that. But again, it's this idea, it's almost kind of a cartoonish idea that you could just like build up a bunch of muscles and like get a girl. But the problem is that he had people around him, and I think he began to realize this. He eventually banned this character in a server who he called Longboy, who called him, sorry, called himself Longboy, um, who was like supposedly one of the chads in his server. There were several different people in his server who considered themselves chads. Longboy was probably one of the nicer, more normal people. And this character, what he really was more so the type of person to do, was he would talk about like building up your muscles and stuff. I think the problem though with Long Boy was he really was from the 90s. Like he, he was a little bit older. And so I think the way in which he did things really reflected that approach. You know, you do things a little bit differently now. You know, you have a multitude approach. You, you don't just, you know, do this. You do multiple different things, you know. When you date around, you want to have lots of skills and have lots of fun. You want to be able to go here and there and whatever. But if you have, like, no money but lots of muscles, what are you going to do? Walk in the park? Like, please. And so anyways, I think Decline was kind of following advice in that regard and so it seems kind of concerning but eventually decline you know switched sides and ended up banning long boy which was interesting which surprised me and he also banned his other server chad this other guy I forgot what his username was something hard to pronounce and this other guy was a weirdo the other guy like was supposedly a chad and would go to parties and stuff and would like um what would he do he would do like he talked in the server about how he would do what's it called um heroin at parties and I'd be like, what the f- so you're a Chad and you're doing heroin? What kind of girls are you going with? Are you freaking banging some, like, um, uh, trailer trash sorts of girls? You know, quite honestly speaking, that's the kind of person who's, like, doing heroin, quite honestly. But anyways, so Decline seems to be going in a really interesting direction, and I feel like the direction is not really a good direction, in my personal opinion. I think his channel is in danger if he keeps going in the path of the gym arc, because in my personal opinion, it's kind of boring. You know, what's the drama? What's the intensity there? The, the interesting thing about, let's say, an incel channel is that you have experiences. Let's say you have a, you go to the mall and you have a girl who gives you a mean look. Or you go to a club and you pick up girls or something like that and you fail or something. It's the engagement that's interesting. And I think in his case, he's not really engaging in that sense. He's just going to the gym and what's life? You know, it's just that. Eventually, he's going to get a girlfriend. Have you met a girl? You know, is that really happening? I'm not seeing it yet. Anyways, moving on. Daniel's kind of moving into an interesting direction. We'll see where he goes. Decline's moving into an interesting direction. Interesting. Like, I kind of do want to talk a little bit more about the situation in the server, like, recently. I mean, Lex has joined, and it's been interesting. 
you know, I mean, again, I guess I could talk about some peripheral characters before I get into, like, the, the business in Jutla. Um, it's interesting how Machar left and Machar just left, you know? Machar was someone, and I guess if you don't really know who this character was, was someone who was in another server, which I was involved in, Daniel's server. Um, and he was always very negative about everyone. He always disliked everyone. There was never a point in time when I actually, in hindsight, can think where he would be like, oh, I like this, or something like that. I mean, I think there might have been a point with the Christmas... No, it was Eris who said that. Eris was the one person who said, you know, like, as much as I want to criticize you, Jupiter, you, I do have to admit, every project you release actually does have some passion behind it and some effort behind it, and I can tell. And I was like, oh, that's kind of nice. I was actually kind of surprised to hear that. Like, there is a part of me that kind of likes Eris, because she's actually been the only person in Daniel's ecosystem who allowed me to just exist as like a, a member of the server without like any, you know, bullshit in between. But the problem with Eris was that, um, well, what ended up happening was me and Machar ended up having drama. And ironically, because of Machar, the drama I had with Machar, I was banned from the server, right? And I mean, because I was banned from the server, the idea was that I would rejoin with a new account, you know? And I would just like keep crawling back. Eventually, at a certain point, at that point when I was banned, I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to focus only on my server and Marty's server. And maybe, you know, Sambo's server or something. That's another per thing to talk about. Sambo, he's an interesting person. But anyways, should I talk about Sambo? I'll talk about Sambo after this. I like Sambo. But anyways, um, I kind of want to just do a video just talking about, you know, the discussions and Sambo. He's an interesting character. I've never seen him. I don't know if I ever will but he's an interesting character. Um, but anyways, yeah, so like with the whole thing with Machar and stuff like that, once I was banned from Daniel's server and I never came back, you know, he just eventually left, which is interesting. I think I actually will attribute that to me because I never came back. He probably got bored because there was no interesting discussions, no arguments or whatever. He just wants to argue with me. He eventually got bored and left. And I've heard since that the server's gotten really boring, you know, interesting. I guess that's why it's dying. No, anyways, let's talk about Sambo. Sambo, I have joined his server, and we've come up with some sort of a partnership. I'm doing a partnership as well with Marty and his server. I do have significant concerns about Marty's server in regards to its, like, um, activeness. There's not enough going on in your server, Marty. You need to engage. You need to turn it into something, you know, whether it be a gaming server or something. Or, you know, it could be the Minecraft place where we just talk about Minecraft and shit. Because it's not having, it doesn't have the activity that, which it needs. But anyways, I joined Sambo server as well. And so I've only been interactive in like three servers. My server, I call it the Jew the Triangle. My server, which is the main server. Marty server, which I'm also active in. And Sambo server, which is like the main server where I meet people from outside of my ecosystem, you know? And so Sambo server is kind of interesting. Sambo is an interesting character. Sambo is black, and he's really into, like, Asia, which is interesting. That's why I only meant, I, I don't really usually mention race, but I, I mentioned it in this case, because it's an, an, an interesting thing, you know what I mean? Because, like, especially you have the interesting dynamics where he's, like, into girls from, a women from Asia and stuff like that. And so, of course, it is interesting, the dating dynamics and stuff. Oh, are parents, are they going to be, you know... I, I do remember I had a friend of mine, he was Irish, and he wanted to ask out this Korean girl in my high school... Um, and I remember he asked her out and she was just like, oh, like my, my parents aren't going to allow this. And I was just like, oh shit. Like, can you imagine if it was the other way around? Like, holy fucking shit. And so anyways, with Sambo in that regard, uh, he was talking about like, oh, maybe he shouldn't, you know, go as, as much for girls from Asia. I honestly think it's a, a mixed bag. You do have some people who, are, you know, are rather closed minded and you have some people who are open minded. I don't know. The fact of the matter, though, in life is you just have to do what you want to do. You can't really concern yourself with what other people think, you know? I actually find in my life that whenever I do exactly as other people want me to do, I get fucked over every single time. If I focus only on myself, if I'm almost completely self-serving, and if I had lived my life like that for many years, I would be a very rich and successful person. I'm not just saying that. I actually have done, you know, looking back on things, and I think, oh, if I actually did this in that situation, which would have been the most selfish thing in the world, I would have gotten exactly what I wanted, and I would have kept getting exactly what I wanted. But instead, I decided to be nice, and what ended up happening, you know what I mean? And so anyways, with Sambo, I think it's kind of interesting how he is kind of thinking about those sorts of things. I think it's interesting. This is why I, I initially like to watch Decline 
declines content because I like the discussion. You know, I like the discussion of someone who will talk about them being an incel and the difficulties that which they have in life and dating, the things at which they want, the things at which any guy wants in dating and relationships at which he doesn't have access to. I like with Sambo how, I mean, he is a black man and he's into women from Asia and so he's really into that culture, but he feels like he's not really, he can't really get on the bridge to become a part of that culture because of course you have, let's, you know, you, you have, you know, uh, I guess, cultural differences and shit like that. And of course, you know, prejudices that won't allow him to, to date, you know, his K-pop star, you know, sort of girl at which he wants to be with, you know what I mean? And so anyways, with that in mind, it is a rather interesting dynamic. And I like that conversation. I like that discussion, you know, whether you come to a conclusion or not, it's just an interesting discussion to have. In Sambo Server, that's one of the things I've been paying attention to, just discussions on dating and life, the crazy discussions in Sambo Server. We had some various different characters in Sambo Server. Courtney, ugh. Uh, you had Erdo, which was interesting with an argument. For some reason, Erdo, every time I joined a server, he left. It's interesting, he just left the server for no reason. And I think, like, there was this blame on me. I stopped arguing with him that particular day, and then he just left later on, as though he was thinking that I was com gonna come up with some major comeback to blow him out of the water, believe me. Crazy. Anyways, um, I think we've had enough of a discussion, you know, it was kind of a, you know, a word soup. We had lots of different discussions and do different topics which we talked about in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll have another discussion soon. I'm a wishing you all the best. Take care.